Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Biden and inflation. You know, Republicans have been pointing out just the massive inflation. Pretty much every Republican is out there talking about it. And Biden recently addressed it. And his response was to blame it on Russia, blame it on the public health thing, just point the finger anywhere, you know, but himself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of sift through the information and we're going to see who is telling most of the truth here. Okay, I mean, they're politicians. They're not all going to be, none of them are going to be telling the complete truth, you know. But before we do that, we need to get a real good frame of reference on these numbers because this is some record-breaking stuff. Okay. Fuel prices have jumped by 35% in the last 12 months. That's the largest annual increase since 1990. Building materials are up 15.4% uh, over a year ago. Consumer durables, that's like cars, household furniture, stuff like that. The inflation on that is rising at its fastest pace in three decades. Grocery prices, excluding fruits and veggies, that's a different category, rose 2.8% in this quarter, which is the strongest quarterly increase since 1983. Fruits and vegetable prices are 6.75% higher than a year ago. Those are huge numbers. Massive. And I don't know that we could just let Biden point somewhere and not take credit for this. I mean, this is, this is wild. This is obviously his fault since it's Australia. These numbers are from Australia, not the U.S., It's global inflation. The Eurozone is sitting at 7.5% inflation. 71% of 109 emerging and developing economies had inflation of 5% or more in 2021, which is double what they had in 2020. It's global. It's global inflation following a global pandemic. The only country that really seems to be insulated from this is China. Why? Because they have price controls. Their economy is very, very different. They're not getting hammered yet. They have a lot of short-term short solutions, but long-term it, it tends to catch up. Now, some economists are saying that inflation is starting to peak, but I'll be honest, I trust most economists' predictions about as much as I trust a Russian gas mask. And be glad you're not there because their inflation is like 20%. I want to say it's 17.7. It's global. Okay. And this is a fun gag. I mean, it's a fun joke. It's fun to say and point this out in this manner. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of Republicans watching this that are upset. But it is what it is. These are the facts. Now my question is this. We know the talking heads on the conservative side, the Republican talking heads who are putting this out there, it's Biden's fault, it's Biden's fault, it's Biden's fault. We know they're invested all over the world. We know they know it's global inflation, right? And we don't expect them to tell those people who consume their product the truth. We gave up on that a long time ago. They're operating in bad faith. And we've just kind of surrendered that. My question is, why doesn't the Republican base know this? This is basic information. Why are they just completely absent when it comes to this information? Which It's weird because some of this I found on Fox Business, by the way. It's not that it's not out there, but it's not being fed to them as a talking point, as an outrage of the day, as something to get mad about, something to be afraid of, something to blame somebody for. That's why they don't know it. The Republican Party has successfully created a base that exists in a total information silo. 
the idea that Biden is responsible for the inflation that is occurring all over the world in more than 100 countries. I mean, that's kind of silly. But that's the main talking point right now. That's what they're really trying to push. Because those at the top of the Republican Party believe that their base doesn't know any better. And if their base falls for it, they don't know any better. My question is, how did the Republican Party become this easily manipulated, this easily lied to, this easily tricked? Probably through years of demonizing education. I love the uneducated, right? That's how you have a large segment of the American population falling for a talking point that is objectively false, that is easily debunked. You can look to any economy in the world, with the exception of China, and show that it's not Biden that's causing this. It was a reduction in demand during the pandemic, and then a reduction in production along with it, and then as we come out of the pandemic, Demand increases, but production is still low. Therefore, there's low supply and high demand, and prices go up. It's happening all over the world. Unless the Republican Party is suggesting that Biden is the most powerful man on the planet, and his policies, whichever one they're going to try to tie this to, are somehow responsible for inflation on multiple continents. It just doesn't make any sense. The only reason it's resonating is because the base of the Republican Party has fallen so far down that information silo, they can't find their way out. And if they, if they aren't just handed the information by somebody who claims to love America, they won't believe it. Nobody who loves America wants its populace uneducated. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.